Hi students, welcome all to the first lecture of engineering mechanics and in this uh, section is the part 1 of the module 1. So, engineering mechanics syllabus mainly consists of 5 modules. So, module 1 mainly deals with the introductory part. That means it deals with the basics basic principles and uh, laws of mechanics and uh, we are dealing with the basic ideas of how reaction forces forces acting on a body etc on this module 1 and module 2 mainly deals with the uh, forces forces and its component of forces component of forces resolution of forces and etc uh, uh, we are dealing with and uh, are studying in module 2 and also we are studying friction friction on a body friction acting on a body and module 3 uh, mainly deals with the forces in spaces or forces acting on three dimensional space okay and in this module we mainly deals with the uh, centroid point of inertia etc and we will study the concept of these things in module 3 and module 4 mainly deals with the motion of bodies or we already uh, we, we can say that the dynamics of uh, motion of dynamics of uh, dynamics of bodies so in that module we will study the rectilinear motion curvilinear motion and translation motion of uh, objects or uh, of bodies and module 5 mainly deals with the rotational motion of bodies or rotation on a plane etc and simple harmonic motion and vibration etc we are studying in those modules don't get confused uh, from these uh, names okay we will discuss everything in details in the upcoming modules so module 1 mainly the introductory part to engineering mechanics so in this module we will first study the statics dynamics and basic principles of engineering mechanics so basic principles include parallelogram law triangular law equilibrium law and law of superposition and transmissibility law of action and reaction and free body diagrams okay and uh, we will study the concept of forces acting on a body so the classification of forces the concurrent coplanar forces composition and the resolution of forces etc we will study in this module and also we will study the resultant and equilibrium equations and the last part of this module we will study the methods of projections or methods of moments and varying sphere of moments in this module and uh, before going to the topics we can discuss the textbooks and the reference books here so these are the main textbooks uh, that is Timo Shingo and Yang and <coughs> the name of the book is engineering mechanics published, published by Magro Hill product publications and IH Shames is another book of my engineering mechanics and RC Hibbler and Ashok Gupta is another book uh, so these are the books uh, these books are available in the library and also uh, these are available in uh, internet also okay don't worry about that i will uh, give you the notes and the references these are mainly uh, i am taking uh, lecture notes uh, lecture notes and other things in uh, ss bhavikati uh, the third one engineering mechanics so this is a simple books you can also uh, uh, purchase or anything okay it will have i don't think it will be available on the internet okay so don't worry about that i will give you the notes so these are the main reference books and textbooks uh, referred in your syllabus so moving on to the first topic engineering mechanics so mechanics is the oldest of the physical science is one of the oldest branch of science 
science okay and you already know that uh, the uh, details of mechanics so engineering mechanics is a branch of physical science that is concerned with the state of rest or motion of bodies which are subjected to the action of forces so engineering mechanics is the study of bodies which are subjected to some forces and because forces are acting on the body the body will move or deform or it will change its shape so these things are studied in engineering mechanics okay so consider a small figure here it's an overhead crane and a load is hanged on this crane so when a force is acting on this lever the body will move upwards so some force is acting upwards okay so engineering mechanics mainly deals with the forces acting on bodies and also the motion of bodies because of these forces and also the def deformation of bodies because of these forces so classification engineering mechanics mainly classified into three the first part is mechanics of rigid bodies in this part we are dealing with the rigid bodies or the bodies that does not deform when a force is acting on it okay the def uh, deformation means when a force is acting on it it does not change its shape such bodies are known as rigid bodies and the second one is mechanics of deformable bodies it is also known as mechanics of solids or strength of materials in this part we mainly deal with the when a force is acting on a body it will deform or it will change its shape uh, like for example when we consider an eraser or a rubber when we apply force on it it will deform such bodies are known as mechanics of so such bodies are known as deformable bodies and the study of those uh, bodies are known as mechanics of deformable bodies and the third one is known as mechanics of fluids or simply fluid mechanics so fluids means any uh, kind of gases or liquids those are commonly known as fluids so mechanics of or uh, study of forces acting on uh, such bodies and the study of deformation or motion of that uh, type of body is known as mechanics of fluids so these are the main three types of classification so in this Uh, uh, syllabus we mainly study about the mechanics of rigid bodies or we study about the mechanics of rigid bodies only we does not study about the uh, deformable bodies or fluids in this uh, syllabus so what is rigid body any body that does not uh, deform when an external force is acting on it is known as rigid body the body which will not deform or the body in which the deformation can be negligible or we can neglect uh, the deformation is known as deformable bodies any rigid body does not deform under load when a load or force acting on a body the body does not deform such bodies are known as uh, rigid bodies so rigid body mechanics is essential in the uh, analysis of many types of structural members in mechanical engineering civil engineering and electrical devices such like, as uh, uh, electrical devices that is in electrical engineering etc so so uh, the study of rigid body mechanics is an important topic in this uh, mechanic uh, mechanical engineering and civil engineering 
so mechanics of civil and rigid bodies so mechanics of rigid bodies classified as the first one is statics statics deals with the study of bodies at rest that means the body does not move such a uh, study of bodies which are subjected to some forces is known as statics and another one is dynamics the study of bod um, bodies which are at motion or the study of moving bodies that means when a force is acting on a body it will the body will move so in that thing we are studying the analysis of the motion of the body that means the velocity of the body acceleration of the body etc so these are the main two topics the statics and the dynamics so these are the two classification of mechanics of rigid bodies and in statics the statics deals with the equilibrium of bodies under the action of forces that means when a body is in static position and there are so many forces acting on the body so the body is only in static position when it is under equilibrium of these forces if the system or the body is not in equilibrium the resultant force will change uh, or it, uh, the resultant force will move the body so when a body subjected to some forces are said to be static and the bo the forces acting on it are in equilibrium condition okay so bodies may either at rest or move with constant velocity when a moving body we can say that a moving body is also in equilibrium when uh, it is moving with a constant velocity or its velocity does not change with the time we can say that uh, it is it is in the static equilibrium so static means uh, when a body is at rest or a moving body it is moving at a constant velocity or it does not change uh, the velocity does not change with the time or its acceleration is zero okay so in this first figure we can see that a man is resting on a chair so this is an example of static equilibrium if the man does not move then it is said to be in static equilibrium and also when a vehicle is moving with a constant velocity or with a zero acceleration we can also say that that body is under dynamic equilibrium okay so these are the uh, or when we study about the statics we can say that we will consider these types of motions or equilibrium conditions dynamics mainly deals with the motion of bodies or accelerated motion in statics we can say that there are two types of equilibrium conditions Uh, static equilibrium and uh, dynamic equilibrium so in uh, dynamic equilibrium the body does not uh, accelerate but in dynamics we mainly studied about the accelerated motion okay the body which will accelerate or the body which are not in dynamic equilibrium so a body which is moving with some acceleration is an example of a dynamic analysis of bodies moving on to fundamental concepts we can say that length time mass and force these are the fundamental concepts we mainly used in the study of mechanics we know that length length is mainly represented in meters or kilometers or inches etc in kind of uh, units are used okay 
So length. What is length? So length needed to locate the position of point in space and describe the size of an object, a physical system, distances, geometry properties, etc. So next one is time. Time is the measure of successive events which are happening uh, when uh, we deal with the dynamics. Okay, so time is really used when we talking about the velocity, acceleration, etc. And the third fundamental quantity is mass. So mass is the quantity of matter in a body that is measured. Uh, is uh, measured. Uh, it, it is a measure of inertia of the body, or it's a resistance to change in velocity. The inertia is the resistance to change in velocity. So mass is the quantity, total quantity of matter that are in the body. That is represented by mass. And the fourth one is the force. The force represents the action of the body or another characterized by its magnitude, direction of its action and the point of application. A force is mainly characterized by magnitude, direction, direction of action and its point of position and force is a vector quantity so vector means it has a point of action and a direction magnitude of the direction that is known as a vector quantity so force is a vector quantity so these are the four fundamental concepts or fundamental units length time mass and force